Yo, what is up guys, Shinobi we are back again with another video for you guys, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going over our match today, and as you guys can see, we're going to be using Absol, or we were using Absol in the match that I'm about to show you here, I got a bunch of other ones I'm probably going to put up on the channel too, because I like playing Pokemon Unite every once in a while, but we are using Absol here, and before we even get into this, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, try and diversify the content we got, or diversify, let me get that right, the content that we got going on here, so every once in a while I'll post like a Unite match that I think is pretty good, or whatnot. I also have other ones that I recorded with my friends and whatnot, so those are also pretty interesting. And if you guys want more Pokemon Unite you know, or just random games like this sometimes, other than like the Bleach content and whatnot that I usually do, then you know make sure to leave a like and comment down below. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the build that I run, just in case you guys want to try it out. So let's go ahead to my boost emblems in case you want to try these. So as for boost emblems, we are using my Leafeon set. I also play Leafeon, but we are running with the 7 black, 4 of them are being brown, and then 1-1-1. One, one, one. And the main thing is mostly cooldown, obviously, and also attack. And then the main things also are also the HP that we're going to have, so we survive longer in fights, the attack boost, the special attack we don't really need, don't care about, defense, perhaps doesn't have that much. Movement speed is also really good, and critical hit rate minus 0.6 we might have to fix that a little bit later on but for the most part i didn't really see anything that really screwed with us when it came to this so that's what we're running for those and as for held items you can run two sets of held items that you could do if you really want to me personally absolutely all about crit so razor call skull cleanse is kind of what you want to do and attack weight as well some other people don't run attack weight but that's just what we're running so if you want to try this out then there you have all the stats for what we are running and as for the match we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it in a quick second all right, and we are into the match. So keep in mind, this was a match that me and my friend literally did a couple of minutes ago or a couple of hours ago. And he is the Hooper, so he's playing support. I'm playing Absol usually. I usually play Leafeon, but you know, my friend was trying to get me to get back on the Absol grind because I maimed this man like crazy when the game first came out. I was like, you know what, why not? And this is just one of the few games that Absol has been just going crazy in. But I'll be doing play by play and whatnot, and well, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So for the most part, everything starts out normal. You know, we got Hoopla, my friend, up front. We draw a top lane with Mimikyu and Blastoise on bottom. Um, so, so far it's about as normal. It's not really gonna get intense until later on. Now, luckily for me, I'm really aggressive with Absol, so we're gonna get a lot. Of, we're gonna get a lot of action once I get my level five. But for the most part, outside of what we got going on there, we want to go ahead and look up our top here. We got Charmeleon running around, trying to get stuff done, but I think at this point, Hoopla is his friend who we got that pretty much covered up. And at that moment, I'm like, okay, they're being really oppressive. So it's like, okay, we go top lane, we pretty much dominate that. So I'm getting ready to go up top. In fact, actually, he told me at first that top lane is fine, and then... Uh, the jungler might come up, so that's the main reason I didn't kind of go up there at first. I was gonna go bottom lane, but it should be at this point that he tells me that we're fine up top, or that I should go up there because they're pushing too hard, and then I just go up there. And their jungler comes down, and probably, and I'm pretty sure they lose this because the jungler comes down. But, as you guys see, we come up here, I get ready to go. I'm waiting for the jungler at this point, which is why I don't go immediately, but as soon as I don't see he's there, then I kind of just go in. No, tap some wall Pokemon, stack it up, and then we just we just kind of stomp it through here. But they pretty much had him. I honestly could have gone bottom lane and we would have been fine. But this was a good opportunity for me to stack, so we'll take it. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, as expected, you know, as I was telling you earlier, but basically just grind them, which is you know, to be expected. But as you already know, uh, we don't waste time around here. I pop up, and it's pretty much a wrap up for that Pokemon. That's one down. That's two down, basically, right there. Boom. Sucker punch. And it's just, it's just over. We just clean that up. The thing I like about my two Absol, even though it wasn't good back then, was the fact that you can move up and down this stage really quick. So it's like, this stage actually benefits Absol a lot compared to the other one. Either way, we're getting ready for middle farm. Pretty sure the fight starts pretty much about now. Like, look again, once I hit my level 5, it's like, it's just on-site action the whole entire time. You know, they've got me on Sparata right here, getting packed up by me. It's the boom, that's the wrap. Uh, I'm pretty sure I go back to my jungle, which uh, the blast was still, and it's like a season 1 type crap. Uh, my friend, you know, pretty much keeping an eye on top lane, we go back to bottom, and then, uh, yeah, you already know what's about to happen here. Boom, that's 1. Boom, that's 2. That is a rap laser. He is gone. So, 
Keep that in mind. We also are trying to come down here today. Yeah, that, that didn't happen before. Triple, triple kill. You already know what it is. Normally I'd let him over cap, but my teammates sometimes. <laughs> they, 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 be, they be out doing too much, and I'm not trying to give this team any time to recover. So we get ready for the objective, which means that we're pretty much leaving top lane to get slammed, which is all right for the most part. So me, my friend, you already know what it is. And the best part is I can much shred this Reggie skill first as long as I get him behind like crits. Go crazy for that. Boom. Just like that. Gone. Alright, and then um he thinks he's John Wick and he's gonna snipe me on that ain't gonna happen. And we go up top, they score on bottom, I think, while well, Meowth score on. Is he guys still my jungle? Okay, he's actually still my jungle. Didn't see that before. Yeah, we pretty much get Reggie Leggy, so they kinda sell actually at this point. Do they even go back to the fin? I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't even go back to the fin and we just push. Let me see this. Yeah, we go push. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much how that went. I killed Glaceon back here. We score. And then... I think I might have died here. Might have. Because I went crazy back here. <laughs> Another triple kill. I don't think I got a 5KO this one, but I think Inteleon was the reason I died here. Yeah. I tried to get out, but it didn't work. He got me with the basic attack. It's fine. Um, and as you can see, the score, I mean, they're not way too behind. But for the most part, as far as levels, like, if you want to look at levels here, we are doing pretty well. They only got 110, no, two level 10s, two level 8s, and level 9. We got two level 8s, 11, and a 10. So, I mean, as far as that's going, we're doing all right. Uh, yeah, Blastoise all that pretty much takes care of that, and I'm pretty sure they cleaned this up. I'm pretty sure I came down to help, but by that point, it was already done. Let's see, where am I at? Okay, I'm already almost there. And then, yeah, I think from here, it's just like we just clean it up. The Autobots tried pulling off one of my signatures where we pushed the opponents towards their team, but it didn't end up pulling out for them. Because at this point, they're just all dead. Another triple kill on the books. I think that's the third one now. I think that's the third triple kill right there. So as of right now, we are at 11 kills. We out here doing our jobs. We, we looking good. All right, bottom objective. I think. Do I go for it? Yeah, I don't go for much. We just all pile in. I think. I think we all pile in for this fight. So yeah, I go around. I think. Yeah, because I don't want to get behind them. So, yeah, I just go for each one. Holds. Not one. Got two, and I get the white Charizard. Yep, that's about right. And they did. Oh yeah. This game specifically, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the Mimikyu, but pay attention to him from here on out, because this was one of his first mistakes. This Mimikyu, for damn near the rest of the game, is not going to help us with any other fight. He's not going to. So just keep an eye on that while I'm commentating over this. Uh, we lost, we could have won that. But for the rest of the game, he pretty much doesn't even show up. He kind of just does his own thing. Like he's basically over here for like probably the next two minutes. Anyway, Hoopa Hall, you already know what time it is. I jump in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I tried chasing Charizard, but I don't bother because I don't want to die here. Blastoise does. Does he, does he even get the kill for this? No, he doesn't get the kill. I think he dies here. Yeah. Maybe? Maybe he dies? No, yeah, wow. Okay. And yeah, sure I'm probably gonna, yeah. We do get this. So, that's good. And I think, oh yeah, now this is the other moment where this gets pushed in. And I'm pretty sure he goes to the home base. Meanwhile, me and my friend are trying to hold off two people. I'm doing my best to get in and out, but it's like, I, I'm a speedster. You already know how it is. I can't hold everybody forever. I think we do hold them off, though, because we all rotate. Maybe we maybe we all hold them off? I think we lost this goal, actually. Yeah, I think we lost this goal, actually. Yeah, they score this. And once again, what did I tell y'all? Mimikyu did not show up. In the slightest, bro. This man has been over here watching us get folded, and then he dies here. I don't know what, like, good cheese. I don't know what he thought was gonna happen here. I, I don't know what he thought was gonna happen here, and then Glaceon knocks this goal out as well. So they start catching up a little bit. We are still in the lead, though. But they do start catching up. Me personally, I don't mind that they have to out the top lane because, I mean, we get comeback experience. So, hey, I'll take it. But we should have never lost that, honestly, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they get this objective too because everybody's, you know, it, the team starts falling apart basically at this point. Like, Ugo, he gets one kill, it's alright, but he's surrounded by three others, he's getting melted. 
Mimikyu finally decides to come down and do something, and we win this. Because I'm farming at this point. At this point, I'm basically like, we don't need to fight them. Because if we try it, we get our buddy into a spiritual blast. There's skills here, yep. They kill three. Yep. And then from there, we basically sweep. I'm pretty sure that's how this goes. We basically sweep. Because the Oscarado is going to do something absolutely dumb. I basically, me and my friend basically try to chase this man. We're like put, saving Private Ryan, as he would say it. Try to get him away from the hole. Try and stop back tapping. Mimikyu does the dumb thing though and tries to start this by himself so well. He has absolutely And that's pretty much how the rest of the game goes. And from here on out, it's basically just me going crazy. And keep in mind by this point, if we look at my kill feed, I have 14 kills. So keep that in mind. Anyway, we get the 50 in and then from here it's basically, hey, we take a bomb. Here on out. Boom, we thought he could get away, he's dead. Another 6 points in the bucket, and Yonskarada threw his ult out, and he did absolutely nothing. Boom, he's dead. That's another one. Teleon, pretty sure he thought he was the man over here, thought he could smack me, he missed him, but I'm standing still. He's gone. <laughs> he, he's gone. Boom. Oh no, he actually made it, never mind. Never mind. I think I head back at this point, because I'm done playing around. By this point, I'm like... You know what, as much as I want to get more kills, we're, we're good. We're good. Either way, they're basically getting ready to make their final approach, and I'm just sitting here like, just bring them on. You know, I get my ult back, I think, maybe. I don't think I get my ult back, but if I do get my ult back, I don't think I can get this fight. Yeah, my friend tells me they're like, pushing. And I think this is the first of many. He gets trapped by Mimikyu ult, which is why that didn't work. You know, that's one right there. Two right there, I'm pretty sure the third will be the Oscarada, if I'm correct. And at this point, I'm thinking I'm about to hit 21 kills. But I don't think, I, I, I don't think at this point that I knew, because I was so hyped that I only had 18, but either way, I hope, I probably just still sitting there, but it didn't matter, we still got either way. But 19 kills, not bad, absolute going crazy. So... Without further ado, I mean, that's pretty much the match in a nutshell. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I just want to go ahead and show you all this, because I haven't played Absol in forever, and usually, you know, when it comes to Absol, you don't see a lot of him, because, you know, he doesn't do a lot. Most of the time, he's really susceptible to crowd control. He's really susceptible to being burst in. But if you play him right, go after the squishy targets, you know, stay away from the defenders, you know, let your teammates handle them, and it's just, you know go it all from there so we mvp'd with 19 kills three assists 104k damage and you know everybody did all right not bad not bad our score was 214 so without further ado that's pretty much going to be it hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you guys want to see more of these but without further ado i'm gonna get out of here peace